Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to the new class, and this is this class on gradient. Okay. Suppose I am using gradient here. Okay, first close the stroke. I'll use gradient here. I'm deleting these are all. I'm making black and white uh, as a default gradient. Okay. If I want to place it is zero uh, now it is zero degree. If I want to make it ninety degrees, and this is ninety degree, top black and bottom white. You can change it like this. It's minus sixty degree. 30 degree or you can change selecting and down or up arrow you can change you can see the changes and if you reverse it make it reverse maintaining the main uh, degrees the gradient moves changed minus 37 degrees it's but white became into black black became into white this is one type of gradient and as usual this is balance button of white and black okay this is radial now we will see that was linear and this is radial gradient same as you can reduce the color balance and if I want to change the white into black or black into white just do this I have changed you can make it as a shadow It is the opacity. It has become shadow. It is more opacity. Ten. It has become shadow. Okay. Now it became hundred percent. Now I change it again. Now it's the most interesting freedom gradient. You can place gradient like your own choice. Click here. It's selecting. Yes, it's selected. Click here. You can make it bigger, but not more than like this. Click double, place one color again click here click double choose one color you can see quite changes suppose you can click here you will click here click double choose one color click here double click here choose one color when it's select if you press G sorry it's not working right now you can hold like this here same as this one also like when you can separate color from here you can separate this color here like this Okay. 
this is called custom gradient if you click here definitely you can change one color here or you can choice or choose your custom color this is custom gradient okay if I want to edit it just edit gradient then you can point it again okay now I will see we will see text gradient take one color who's black control shift O if I place gradient here individually placed gradient you say one gradient area n one gradient area I one gradient area I don't need that or I don't like that and it doesn't looks good then definitely first you have to make it ungroup control shift Z then make it compound control 8 now see it's one shape and place the gradient 100% now suppose I will place here custom gradient placing this color it's not working why I don't know it's not working take a moment now it's working okay take time there is something problem now it's working change this one okay again click here taking some times sometimes okay I'll cut it the compound divide yeah now it's placed Now it worked. Now object path offset path make ten and place black. Um, looking not so good make it ungroup these are all individual layers control G group yeah can place here it's a nice style this is custom gradient logo text suppose 
this is my logo icon. Remember one thing, it's a practice. That's why I use various colors, but logo doesn't use so much colors. Maximum three colors is the logo color. So use only two or three colors, two colors for logo. This is for practice session, that's why I did it. Okay. One by one, I have shown many kinds of objects, capsule, heart, gradient heart, plain heart shape, <coughs> leaf area, <coughs> eggs, <coughs> custom gradient using text, These are all for your practice. Okay, my dear friends, we are meeting next class. Till then, practice this and good luck. Thanks for watching.